स्टूडेंट्स होप यू आर वेल एंड वर्किंग हार्ड टू अचीव योर गोल्स सो येस्टरडे वी हैड डिस्कस द मीनिंग एंड डेफिनेशन ऑफ ऑन्टरप्रन्योर एंड द टाइप्स ऑफ ऑन्टरप्रन्योर सो टूडे वी विल डिस्कस आर नेक्स्ट टॉपिक दैट इज द कंसेप्ट ऑफ ऑन्टरप्रन्योरशिप एंड इट्स मीनिंग डेफिनेशन एंड करेक्टरिस्टिक्स सो बिफोर दैट वी विल डिस्कस आर की टर्म्स सो फर्स्ट की टर्म इज एंटरप्राइज For example, Reliance Industries Limited, Wipro, ITC, ICICI Bank, Hindustan Liver Limited. What are these? These are the companies, right? So, enterprise is a business or company or an organization, especially one that will earn money, that will run in a market to earn money, is called enterprise. So, next key term is entrepreneurship. For example, Dhirubhai Ambani. he is called as entrepreneur who started his business of reliance company and reliance company is known as enterprise so entrepreneurship is the process of starting and operating your own business and that is why it is called entrepreneurship means a process so the word entrepreneurship has been derived from the french root which means to undertake so we can say that entrepreneurship is the process of undertaking an economic activity that involves risk it consists of running an enterprise so the functions of entrepreneurship is to innovating organizing and coordinating the activities of the business so next one is the characteristics of entrepreneurship so first one is economic activity as economic activity it involves the creation and operation of an enterprise it involves the creation of wealth and money next one is it is the creative activity it involves innovation or introducing of something new maybe a new product or new idea or new method so that is why it is called as creative activity next one is it is a dynamic process in the dynamic process it means changing environment which brings a new opportunities for business so flexibility is a hallmark for the successful entrepreneur so that is why it is called as dynamic process so next is the purposeful activity as entrepreneurship is the purposeful activity of an individual or a group of individuals who seeks to earn profits through the production and the distribution of economic goods and the services next one is risk element as entrepreneurship makes decisions in the face of uncertainty so risk is an inseparable element of entrepreneurship because there is a profits or maybe there is a element of loss that may be occur in the business so next is organization building as entrepreneur assembles and coordinates other factors of production like land labor and capital so it is a organization building next is a gap filling function it is the job of an entrepreneur to fill the gaps of needs and goods and services that is needed in the market and that is needed by the customers so that is why entrepreneurship is a gap filling function next our topic is distinction between entrepreneurship and management so first one is venture creation as in the entrepreneurship it is the process of setting up an enterprise but in the management it is the process of running an existing enterprise so second there is a risk taking as in the entrepreneurship it involves a high degree of risk as an entrepreneur is self employed but in management it involves less risk as the manager is employed and gets a regular salary so third difference is innovation so entrepreneurship involves innovation but innovation is not an essential part of management fourth one difference is reward as profits are the reward of entrepreneurship but salary is the reward of management class difference is based upon status as entrepreneurship enjoys higher status than management 
because he is a job creator so this is all about today's topic so you have to write the question answers so first question is discuss the characteristics of entrepreneurship and second question you have to distinguish between first entrepreneur and manager and then second entrepreneurship and management so go through the various links so that you write a better answer for these questions